Welcome to Ixia product demonstration. We are going to demonstrate how Ixia eVPN VXLAN solution can help validate spine and leaf fabric supporting large scale multi tenancy network in data center. We will emulate VTAPs and connected VMs using two Ixia ports connected back to back. Both single homing and multi homing scenarios will be shown. To start with, two leaves as VTIP connected to one spine are emulated on each Ixia port. Each VTIP has two eVPN instances with five VMs per instances. Let us focus on the topology on left side to take a deep look on the emulation. We will need to configure AS numbers and device under test address to set up BGP peering first. To enable eVPN, enable it in Capability subtab. Also enable eVPN in Learned Routes filter subtab. Number of VTAPs could be scaled on each port by changing the device group multiplier between network group and VTAP. For a single homing scenario, leave ESI value to default 0 in BGP Ethernet segment tab. Configure number of EVIs to be 2 to emulate 2 eVPN instances per VTAP. User can easily increase this to emulate large number of eVPN instances. For each EVI, export and import route targets need to be configured so that the VTAPs can exchange VM's reachability by attaching these RTs to MAC IP routes in BGP updates. In this case, import route target is same as export route target configured. To support a tenant with multiple L2 Ethernet segments, L3 export import route targets need to be configured for a L3 VPN service supported by remote VTAP. By default, one MAC IP pool is associated with an eVPN instance. We have two VTAPs and two EVIs per VTAP and hence have four MAC IP pools configured. Each MAC IP pool emulate 5 VMs. Number of hosts per EVI instance could be scaled by changing the address count in MAC pools behind VTAP to emulate up to millions of VMs. In BGP CMAC properties tab, configure first level for identifying an EVI and second level for identifying a L3 tenant. First level and second level correspond to L2 VNI and L3 VNI for VXLAN data plane. Now start all protocols. Once protocols are running, we can check adjacency state, refer to the statistics view to see counters of protocol messages. Learned information window shows detailed information of type 1 to type 5 routes learned from the peers. We can see that VTAP1 learned 10 type 2 routes, 5 routes in each EVI. Let us create traffic between VMs from same eVPN instance. L2 VNI would be used in VXLAN encapsulation since eVPN instance is same. User can check the values of each field in VXLAN encapsulation of traffic from preview. Now let us create traffic between VMs from different eVPN instances. When supporting IRB, Ixia supports both symmetric and asymmetric operational model of IRB. By default, Ixia's IRB model is symmetric. L3 VNI would be used in VXLAN encapsulation because now traffic is expected to be routed between different eVPN instances using symmetric model. Finish creating traffic item and apply it on port and then start the traffic. Let us check traffic statistics view to see if traffic between VMs are flowing without loss. Statistics view could be made more granular by tracking on different fields in traffic encapsulation. 
such as MAC addresses, IP addresses, VXLAN, VNI, etc. Now stop all protocols and traffic and let us look at multi-homing scenario. Configure same non-zero ESI value in BGP Ethernet segment tab to enable multi-homing. Also configure same hosts behind each VTIP. This emulates hosts on a multi-homing Ethernet segment connected to two VTIPs. By default, multi-homing mode is all active mode. User can check enable single active if single active mode is needed. Start all protocols to emulate multi-homing. Refer to the statistics view for protocol message counters. Check eVPN learnt information for designated forwarder election result. From right-click context menu on each Ethernet segment, user can emulate Ethernet segment up or down event by advertising or withdrawing AD per ES route. To support aliasing, advertise AD per EVI route from right-click context menu on each EVI. From here, user can withdraw aliasing as well. Apart from the above capabilities which have been shown, there are other features such as advertising type 3 multicast route, type 5 IP prefix route which are supported in Ixia emulated VTIPs. We have seen how to test eVPN VXLAN using Ixia IX network. Besides, MPLS data plane and PBB eVPN are also supported. User can easily scale up the test by emulating more LIF switches, EVI instances, and many VM hosts. Ixia eVPN solution supports rich features to test many eVPN functionalities and scale. Thank you for your time. Please watch our other product demos for more information.